and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to be discussing Dystopia Rising's brewing system. Let's get started and go! Now, when you get into Dystopia Rising's brewing system, the first thing you're going to need is the ability brewing. Who'd have thought? Now, after you get your brewing ability, everything falls into steps. First step is you need to get yourself a recipe. Secondly, you need to get the item cards listed on the recipe. After that, you take those items to a brewing still, and then you role play mixing those item cards together for a little bit of time, and then you get yourself a brewing card. That will look something like this, except it'll say brew on the top, and it'll also be red and then you'll be good to go. Now an important thing to remember is once you have that brew card, it's going to need to go into a red card sleeve so it can't be red from the outside unless it's already been used, or if you use the ability Analyze Compound, which will then allow you to read the card. Now when it comes to brews, they come in four types. Consumables, injectables, aerosols and appliables that you can apply to your skin or weapon. I um I don't really have a prop for appliables, so here's silence of the lambs. It rubs the lotion on its skin or else it gets the hose again. Yeah. That. These brews have a variety of uses, ranging from healing medicine to replenishing mind points all the way to helping your combat efficiency, though these are not all their listed uses. Now when it comes to combat, if you get put into bleed out, you can't use most brew types on you except for injectables. For example, if you get put into bleed out by a Zed, Raider, Monster, or whatever, you can use an injectable to get yourself back on your feet or at least prolong your bleed out time. However, other players can come along that can give you other healing brews that are not just injectables. So if you're well liked enough, someone can come along and get all, get them to the Greek on you. Now I'm gonna stab you in the heart with this adrenaline needle. What? What? Ah! So advice-wise, it'd probably be a good idea to carry a couple of injectable brews as well as a couple of low-cost basic consumable brews just in case you or a friend needs them in an emergency. Now when using a brew card of any kind, you need to roleplay your using of it. Now it might not be required of every Dystopia Rising branch to have it, it is recommended that you have a physical representation item for the brew that you're using. This just helps add immersion to the game. And when choosing the right prop for your brew, it's important to remember that most brews come in the sizes of 3, 6, 8, and 12 ounces. So small items like this for injectables really aren't going to work. So go for something a little more hefty. You're going to feel a little pinch. And for consumable brews, containers like this really aren't going to work out that well either. But that doesn't mean you can't get freaky with the choices you make. Adam. Just kidding, Adam. I love you. Don't leave me. Thank you for all the advice you gave me, you son of a bitch. And as for aerosols, you could probably take an inhaler and modify it, make it look cooler, make it look more apocalyptic, like this person here. He took this inhaler and made it look like a thing of Jet from the Fallout series, so, you know, that's cool. And those are the basics of everything you guys need to know about Dystopia Rising's brewing system. Now, before I go, guys, I had a lot of help in making this particular episode happen, and I'd like to give credit where credit's due. I had someone come to me and ask me if I was willing to do a video on this particular subject in Dystopia Rising, and I was just like, yeah! So without any further ado, I'd like to give a special shout out and a special thank you to my man, Marshall Wood Knight! You son of a bitch. Dude, thank you so much for helping me with making this episode, talking with me, giving me all this advice. I really hope I was able to make this episode the way you would want it. I hope I was able to do it justice. Um, I really appreciate all the help that you did, all the work that you put in, and I can't thank you enough. So thank you so much for subscribing, so much for uh, the video ideas. Um, and to the rest of you, I hope you have a great rest of your day, and have a good one. Bye. Action. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be discussing Dystopia Rising's brewing system, so let's get started! Yeah! Going! Don't you touch that. Did I do it wrong? Oh, you did. Oh. Oh. Sweet, sweet Elise.
And there you go, role play mixing those item cards together for a specified amount of time on the recipe card, recipe blueprint. I'm gonna start over from the top. Is that camera still rolling, Joseph? Yes. Oh, okay. Afterwards, you're gonna take those a recipe and that. I'm no, I'm good with the first one. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's yeah. go. And then you get your item card. It's gonna look something like this, except it's not gonna say weapon on top or yeah, it's gonna say weapon. No, it's gonna say brew and it's gonna be red and then you're gonna be good to go. What's the fucking lotion in the basket?